cycle nature's recycling system hi friends welcome back to creative young artists where we learn and explore the world in fun and exciting ways today we are going to learn about something very special the water cycle so let's dive in what is the water cycle evaporation condensation and precipitation Water is all around us in oceans, rivers, lakes and even in the air. The water cycle is how water moves around our planet. It goes up, down and all around. It's like a giant loop that never stops. Let me show you how it works. There are four main steps in the water cycle. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection. First, we have evaporation. This happens when the sun heats up water from oceans, rivers or lakes. The water turns into invisible gas called water vapor and rises into the sky. Just like steam comes out of a kettle. Can you imagine water flying up into the air? It's magic. Second is condensation. Next, the water vapor cools down when it reaches high up in the sky. It turns back into tiny water droplets. This is called condensation. When all these tiny droplets come together, they form clouds. So the clouds you see in the sky are made of millions of tiny water droplets. Now the precipitation. Now when the clouds get too full and heavy with water droplets, the water fall back to earth. This is called precipitation. It can fall as rain, snow, sleet or hail. We see rain the most right. It's like the sky is giving the water back to the earth. Now the fourth one is collection. After the rain falls, it lands in rivers, lakes, ocean and even in the soil. This part of the cycle is called collection. The water goes back to where it started and the cycle begins all over again. So every drop of water you see has been around for millions of years. Why is the water cycle important? The water cycle is super important. It helps plants to grow, fill up our rivers, lakes and give us the fresh water we need to drink. Without the water cycle, life on the earth wouldn't be possible. Now some fun facts. Did you know the water you drink today might have been the same water a dinosaur drank million of years ago? Isn't it amazing? Water is always moving and recycling. Just like the things we recycle to keep the earth clean and healthy. That's the end of our journey through the water cycle. Now you know how water travels around our planet in a never-ending cycle. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Creative Young Artists. See you next time for another adventure.